Orale, Cholo, Trucker, Moss Movies and Shows. And here we got The Boys in the Boat. Now, I remember when this movie um, came out in theater. It wasn't that long ago, and but I just recently watched it. And I knew I wanted to watch it. So I went ahead and I checked it out. Now, I don't have, I'm on the road right now, so I don't have any of the descriptions on me. But let me just go ahead and tell you guys what I think about the movie. All right. So when I saw that um, I had a chance to watch this movie, I'm like, all right, cool. That's right. I remember the, this movie coming out. So I was pretty excited. One thing that I realized is that I never heard anybody talk about this movie. I never heard anybody say, hey, check this movie out. Hey, this is a good movie. Hey, this movie, uh, you know, you, you need to watch it. It's a good inspiration story. Now, this is based on a true story back in 1936 for the Olympics. Now, you guys remember the Olympics were, were in Berlin. Well, not if you remember, but if you know just a little bit of history. Now, back then, Hitler was doing his thing, homie. And uh, that's where this was going to take place. There was a lot of things going on, especially with uh, Jesse Owens, which was the big story, him being in the Olympics back then. All right. So um, it's about this one dude who you guys see on the boat right here. Not the first guy, but the second guy. Yes, the guy with uh, the hairdo that looks like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. He is the main character. I don't remember his name, and I don't even really care. Um. He's looking for money. He needs money. So uh, him and his buddy or his buddy comes to him and says, hey, listen, if we go ahead and we row this boat, we can actually make some feria doing this. So that's why they join to make some money. Right. And they're in good shape. So they're able to do it, man. So that's what happens with these guys. It's not that they really love being athletes or anything of that sort. They just want it. They were falling on hard times. They couldn't pay for their schooling. And they found this to make a little bit of feria for themselves. Now, here's the thing, man. This movie falls very flat. All right. I don't really care about any of the characters throughout the movie, it, it, even the main character. I don't really fall in love with any of them or really like, I couldn't even really tell you who anybody was. You know, they'd be out, they'd be partying or whatever. And it's like, are they, it, are these guys part of the team? Cause I got no idea. Nobody stands out. The only one that I would say stands out is the first guy that you see right here on the screen. And that's simply because he's a very, very shy guy, but he's good with the piano. That is it. Obviously the main character, but even him, he falls flat. There's his love interest. I'm not interested in anything that he's doing. I don't care. When he runs into hard times, I'm like, I don't, I, I, I don't care, man. When they, like I said, when they're at a bar, when they're, I don't even know who's who. I don't know. I don't even know who's on the team, who's not on the team. Nobody stands out. They all somewhat just kind of resemble each other. And I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know. Is, is he talking to one of his teammates? And even when they're on this boat, I really don't know who anybody is. This movie really, really falls flat. Now, they're doing it for a, fall, a small school. I believe it's Washington. I could be getting that wrong. Uh, they run into some money problems. And, um, you know, they face adversity that way. Because, um, you know, they a bigger school, I'm not going to name it, but a bigger school was um, favored to go represent the United States in the Olympics. And this is actually the junior team as opposed to the varsity team. And um, the junior varsity team was the one actually outperforming everybody. So that story is pretty cool. But I'll tell you guys this. Look, all in all, you don't have to watch this movie. I don't feel like I wasted my time. But at the same, at, at the same token, I want to make it clear. I was on an airplane watching this movie. So it's not like I really had a lot to do. That being said, look, I love sports movies. I love the underdog movie and these guys were the underdogs because they were a junior varsity team and they didn't have a lot of money, but uh, the character development was horrible. 
the character development was completely horrible. I I didn't give a rat's ass about any of them. And most of them, I had no idea who the heck they were. None. But overall, look, I'm not glad I watched this movie, but I'm not glad, you know, I'm not I'm not recommending it and I'm not telling anybody to to not watch it either. I was on an airplane, so it was a good filter while I was on an airplane. I don't want to say it was a bad movie because honestly, I think it was it was better than bad. And you know, out of a hundred, it was more than 50%, definitely. But it was kind of on the lower. It was maybe like a eh, 65 for me, 65%, somewhere around there, maybe even 70. If you if you have the time and you got time to waste, go ahead and watch it. It didn't really wow me. It might wow you guys, but it didn't wow me too much, man. That is The Boys in the Boat, Cholo Trucker, Moss Movies and Shows. I'll catch you guys on next one.